In this video, we are going to use an amplification circuit to demonstrate a convolution of an impulse response with the given input. In this example, we have a simple circuit which includes a resistor, a capacitor, operational amplifier, right? So we have an input voltage which is Vi of T and then we are interested in uh, the output which is V output of T. Right, so this is simply doing an amplification. So from electronics we can extract out the value of output that is V output of T and this is dependent on the values of R and C, time constant R C and we would have minus infinity to T V I of tau d tau so this is our system and this is our model of a system in terms of an equation so from this expression you would know that this is our uh, integrating amplifier if you interchange r and c uh, the output would be actually in terms of the differentiation of the input v i of t so then that would be a differential circuit so we have an output in terms of an integration of an input so we can simplify this in terms of a simple block diagram that is we have a system and we have an input x of t and we have an output y of t and that output is from minus infinity to t x of tau d tau so the system is just performing an integration of the input in order to find the impulse response we would say the input x of t is simply delta of t right if the input is a direct delta function the output is impulse response if we set this y of t and we say that the input is direct delta function since the integration variable is tau so we would change this to tau so we would have a delta of tau d tau so this means that we simply have one direct delta function in terms of tau and y of t is integrating from minus infinity to some variable which is t if this variable is less than zero so y of t anything less than zero we are not having any value so the output is zero or t less than zero but at the same time when t is greater than or equal to zero or simply when t is greater than zero the output would be one this means that our output is u of t this is our impulse response if the input is delta of t the output is impulse response we have an impulse response that is h of t and this is simply a unit step function which is u of t now say i'm going to give another input x of t over here and say this is simply e minus a t u of t where to simplify say a is greater than zero so for if we give this x of t as the input what would be the new output we need to find y of t we can find this by means of the convolution integral that is minus infinity to infinity x of tau h of t minus tau d tau x of t this is simply this function e minus a t u of t but we need it in terms of tau so we can just convert this variable from t to tau and this would be e minus a tau u of tau and again you would have the same function on the other hand this is our h of t but we need the variable in tau because this variable is in tau so we can say h of t to tau is simply again the same function but now the variable is changed to tau but we need a minus tau here so this means we have h of minus tau this means this signal is flipped now we have this function we also need to add a t here that is h of 
t minus tau so this would mean the value which was originally at 0 so this would be added with t so we have this function which is h of t minus tau so from this we got the, this function and from this we got this function let us replot this so we have again the two functions and the output y of t is basically x of tau h of t minus tau d tau so we have two cases the first case is when t is less than zero if t is less than zero there is no overlap right if there is no overlap that means our y of t is equal to zero right if this the, the multiplication of these two is zero so the outcome would be zero the second case is when our t is greater than zero so this means that this value of t now goes beyond zero assuming that this is the function now if it is moving in this direction right if it is moving in this direction so then there will be some overlap and in this case our integration would start from beyond zero we said it's zero so now it is going to start at zero and it would continue on until this value wherever the t is so the integration limit would be up to t so zero to t so x of tau is this function e minus a tau unit step function u of t we have already written from 0 to onwards so we don't need to write u of t over here and h of t minus tau is just having a value of 1 right so we are just left with 0 to t e minus a tau d tau so this is minus 1 over a e minus a tau from t to 0 and eventually we'll have 1 by a 1 minus e minus a t so this is our final output y of t for the integrator circuit if the input is e minus a t u of t so you may plot this and it would be something like this function where it is saturating at 1 over a this is our y of t and with respect to t anything less than 0 is 0 anything greater than 0 is following this expression